did you stick with testing for all these years? Were it these good managers? Ah, or... Good question. I stuck with testing partly because as a developer, I kept burning out and I suffered from very severe burnout. I mean, mm. burnout so severe that when I would come up to a keyboard, I would want to vomit. I mean, oh, I would want to yeah. get physically sick when oh. I came to your keyboard or I developed at one point I developed a uh, phobia of email uh, for six months. I couldn't really read email. <laughs> um, now this was after I became a tester, I was still suffering from burnout, but the burnout I suffered from uh, periodically in the first four years because I realized later it's because I was so lonely. I need to be social. Testing for me is a lot more of a social activity than development is. Yeah. So I need that social feeling. Uh, the other thing that made me stick with it is I realized I'm needed. Mm -hmm. Development doesn't need me. There's a zillion great programmers out there. And I felt like, I felt like someone who, you know, runs marathons and I'm okay. You know, I can finish a marathon, but I'm never going to be in the top 10 finishers of a marathon. There's always someone better than me. And I, I'm ambitious. I wanted to be really good at something. I wanted to be the best at something, or if not the best, among the best. So I found in testing that it was, the whole field is a mess. And, and uh, there's just all this stupid stuff that people say about testing because they've never studied it. They've never really tried to do a good job. So I decided, what if I just try to do a really, really good job? I'll read every book, I'll, I'll study, I'll, I'll innovate. And as I did that, I got rewarded. People would go, oh, that's so cool, you did that. And so I felt like, oh good, I'll do more, I'll do more. So I stayed in testing because testing needs me.